Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this braided stitch and I used an eye hook which is a 5.5. You can use most yarns. I recommend using a medium worsted yarn and this is a little bit of a finer yarn that I use but that's okay too. And the pattern is listed down below. So let's get started. I'm using Unforgettable Red Heart Dragonfly yarn. For this braided yarn, you're going to start off with a multiples of two, so I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook with an eye hook, 5.5 hook, and do a chain 20. Once you have reached your desired amount of chains with the multiples of two, we'll get started. In the fifth chain from the hook, you're going to work a double crochet. So yarn over, one, two, three, four, five. Work a double crochet. Once you have your double crochet, there is a chain behind. You're going to work a puff stitch behind your double crochet. Chain one, go back, put your hook into that stitch, Draw up your loop, one, yarn over, you're going to need to do it five times. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, draw up your loop, two. Three. Four. Five. You have all your loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, draw through all loops on the hook, chain one, and then you have that double crochet that's right there. You're going to skip this chain next to it, and then to the next one you're going to work a double crochet. Chain one, and then you're going to go back into that skip chain and work your puff stitch. Yarn over, Insert your hook, grab the yarn, drop your loop five times, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, draw through all loops, chain one. It's going to look like this and then you're going to repeat. Skip the stitch next to your double crochet. Okay, now that last stitch you're going to um, have this stitch here, you're going to skip this one and work a double crochet in the next. Chain one and then go back to that stitch and work your puff stitch. Draw up five times. Yarn over, pull through all loops and chain one. A skip, a chain, work another double crochet. Chain one. Go back to that skipped stitch, chain, and work your puff stitch. Draw up your loop. What? Doesn't want to go in there. One, two, three. Four, five, yarn over, pull through all loops in the hook, chain one. Skip, go to the next and work your double crochet. And chain one and repeat. Go back and work your puff stitch. It's going to look like this until you get to the end. Okay, you're at the end and you should have one 
chain left and you're going to work a double crochet. And this will start to curl on you, but once you do your next row, it should start to straighten up. Make sure your chains are loose. Now you're going to chain three, turn. So in this space, you'll work a double crochet, chain one. Then you'll go back into this beginning space and work your puff stitch. This row will be repeated for every row from now on. So insert your hook, yarn over, drop your loop five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and chain one. So you already worked in this one because of your double crochet. You're going to skip this one to go to your next double crochet. Double crochet, chain one. Go back into the space that you skipped and work your puff stitch. Draw up your loops five times. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, and chain one. You skip this space and go to the next and work your double crochet and chain one. Then you're going to go back into that skipped and work your puff stitch. Drop your loop five times. and then yarn over, pull through all loops, and chain one. And then you're going to skip and go to the next and work your double crochet. And just repeat that across, chain one. It's going to look like this. And go back and work into that skipped and work your puff stitch. And then chain one, skip, work your double crochet. You'll work this till the end, and then go back, go to your skipped, and work your puff stitch. And then yarn over, pull through all, chain one. Skip and work your double crochet. Go back and work your puff stitch until you get to You're at the end here, you have your puff stitch here. And you skip this one, you're gonna go into this chain three space and work a double crochet. This is to finish each row. The same exact way, chain one. Then go back to your skipped and work your puff stitch. Chain one. Now once you work your puff stitch to create a straight edge into that chain three space again, you're going to work a double crochet. And then this is what it looks like, starting to look like a braid. You're going to chain three, turn your work, skip this beginning and go here to work your double crochet. Chain one, go back into that missed beginning space and work your puff stitch. And then this is just a repeat row from now on. and then chain one, and then you're going to 
skip this one and go to the next one and work your double crochet. Chain one, go back and work your puff stitch right into there. You'll work that until the very end and just keep repeating this row. And then this is how you create this um, braid did type of stitch. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.